everybody. I'm BJ Flagg. And I'm Rich G. And this is episode 284, Boost Your Video Presence. I know. Everybody, everybody is doing video. Today, business owners have realized the power of video to promote their business and get new clients and customers. Yeah, and they're using all different platforms like uh, oh yeah, YouTube and Instagram, uh, that Facebook thing, and that <laughs> TikTok stuff. Deliver key so dem- many. yeah, they but they deliver key demographic segments to learn about and purchase your goods and services. People will yeah bump into you that way. Absolutely, and you know what? A lot of entrepreneurs need a lot of help with their videos. You know, they <laughs> that mean a lot and, you know, and they just need to professionally present themselves and their businesses while appearing authentic and genuine. I know it sounds simple. It's not simple for a lot of people. Yeah. So we've put together seven steps to help ensure you're successful right out of the gate. So, BJ, what's step one? Identify your key audience. I know every single person wants to get in there. And just start making videos. But no, we need you to think for a second. So this first step is understand your target audience. Um, That's going to help you create video content that resonates with them. You know, research your audience interests, their needs, their preferences, so you can tailor your videos to their tastes. We don't want you to start just cooking Italian meals and you have a product that is in the sewage industry. No, 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 no. We need you to stay in your knitting. So we love it when we see people look at their competition, understand what's out there right now. What type of videos are they doing? What level is their content? You know, start doing that research. Yeah, unless your cooking is at the sewage level, you never know. Exactly. In which case, appropriate. (laughs) I actually... I actually watch a a recipe guy who just goes, we're going to make a stew. And he tells you the ingredients. We're going to put this and this and this and this and set it on your crock pot. You're done. I love that guy. He doesn't tell a story about his mother and it gets (laughs) right to the recipe. I love him. So I love it. Step two, create engaging content. Okay. Make sure your videos are interesting, informative, engaging. Okay, like the recipe guy, just put the recipe, just show it to me. I don't want to hear uh, all this backstory because I'll just fast forward through it. Use (laughs) visuals, use animations, sound effects to make your videos more engaging and visually appealing. But is your message getting across? Consider that first. And that's the big thing. And BJ, you could probably talk more about message and stuff. Oh, for sure. And I and I really see people trying so hard to engage people. You know, they're, yeah. they're wearing a crazy outfit or they're doing something uh, different. You know, there's a great cupcake guy uh, in Norwalk. It does a always has an outfit on and stuff like that. When all I really want to see is the cupcakes. Yeah. Isn't that funny? So, you know, understand you want to really kind of consider yeah. that. I, I watch a guy called Ken's Carpentry out of Vermont. And he just built garages and (laughs) it's, I just love him. I, he's got just a way he's very authentic and he Mm -hmm. tells you exactly how much it costs. And he talks about the lumber and everything. I love him. He's great. Simple and direct. Awesome. Um, And now, you know, you want to say to yourself, okay, I need to optimize my videos. I've got to make sure that they work great for search engine optimization. There is a commonly missed opportunity. Uh, so many people I see the you know the last little part of their um, content on their post, and there's nothing there. There's no hashtags. They haven't really used direct keywords that anybody could search from. So think about that when you're starting to put your post together. What keywords do people search for? And really use those relevant keywords in your video title titles, your descriptions, your hashtags, and optimize your videos for those search engines. You are going to thank yourself. It's such a huge difference in your following rate. 
Yeah, there are a number of websites that you can go to to help you figure out what are the best titles, what are the keywords that people are using. You just search on a topic and then you it brings up all the keywords around that topic. So there's lots right. of things that you could use for that. Step Definitely. Four, promote your videos on social media. You are ready for your close up. Time to share your videos on social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Your face is what people want to engage and see. Yes, your product is great, but they want to see you or your representative using the product, trying on the product, and talking about the services. And I want you to have you encourage your followers to share your videos with their friends and followers. Don't forget about that. Yeah, because... You know, in so many respects, people will do these videos and they literally are stored on their phone. Great if you want to show a friend, but get the video on the social media. It's wild. Um, step five, collaborate with other content creators. This is huge. If you think of it as a two times X, it's an X to the second power. It's awesome. Partner with other content creators um, who are in your niche and create videos together. This will help you reach audiences that you just don't have access to and vice versa. The two work fantastically together. Yeah, you double up. You see this a lot on a lot of platforms where people will have a guest star or somebody that comes on and then they put it on their channel. If you're doing a uh, an event or if you're going to an outdoor you're selling things, walk around with a camera and talk to people and get them on camera. People are interested in this stuff. They like oh, this sure. better than television. Trust me. Step six is use paid advertising. Consider using paid advertising on social media platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook to promote your videos to a larger audience. It's not a lot of money, especially Facebook is not that expensive. Um, a lot of a lot of people have businesses that are local and they have the ability to have a very small demographic area and you don't have to pay that much. It's really worth it. So um, step seven is monitor your video performance. Use analytic tools to track your uh, performance of your videos. Most of the platforms have a pretty extensive insight area and you can review how everything is being done. Don't, you know, don't keep a video um, style if you're just not hitting your numbers. You really need to understand what works, what doesn't, and how you can improve your future videos. And frankly, a lot of people think that each of your videos have to have this high production value. And it could just be your phone and you talking to it. The people actually like the authenticity of that. So yeah. when you watch your, your video performance, start to track when people click out, when, you know, how long they should be. Wow, I'm making them too long. Maybe I should only make them three minutes long. It'll tell you, your analytics will tell you a lot of information about your videos. So, and, you know, Rich was just talking um, before we got going about YouTube shorts yes. and how they're really making a difference over in YouTube. Um, I know you've been seeing such amazing trends. Yeah, where you, you put out a video and you might get hundreds of views. A short will get hundreds of thousands of views because people are going to like, I'll give this person 15 seconds. That's fine. And you watch it and you could do something quick, like here are the three things you could do with celery. Bum, 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 bum. That's great. <laughs> or here are the three best hammers you could buy. Or, you know, exactly. again, it's it's short. The shorts, people have shorter and shorter attention spans. So right. exactly. just pick one action that we've talked, one of these steps and try it. Pick up your phone and shoot a video. Go around your store talk to your employees, talk to your customers and put it up on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn. Huge improvement for sure. Um, and I, we have some great resources this week. Yeah. The first one is 
someone that I love. Uh, his name's Adrian Salisbury Training. Um, he's out of Australia, and he is possibly the coolest guy to help you start your YouTube videos or any kind of videos. He helps nice. you with the equipment and the setup and where to place your camera. Like his last video was all about eye contact, how to have eye contact with the camera. And he just talks about cool things, software and everything. And if you oh. find tech too overwhelming, this is the guy. And I just love his personality. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Um, on Instagram and YouTube, I love to follow Anne of All Trades. They are phenomenal. So her husband also works with him, Adam of No Trades. And it is just the best. They're building a school of woodworking. They have an incredible farm. She just goes over all these things that happen in the farm and with the animals and with uh, her woodworking and how she's making various things. She's authentic. And that's why I stick with her. She's good friends with other people. Uh, Rich and I follow um, April Wilkinson, um, you know, Greg Pennington, a very famous woodworker. You know, it's just amazing to see what she stayed authentic through this whole uh, influencer uh, trend. So very good person to follow. And that's it for this week. You can reach out to me at richg.com and you can find BJ at newrenew.com. Thanks to our producer, Richard Scalzo. And have an unbelievable week and catch you later. Mm -hmm.